Hello, I am Carmen from Romania and I am going to show you today some uh, activities from teacher practice area. I'm already on my page. I turned editing on. And I could move on to topic 2. Okay, and I click here add an activity or resource. Uh, activities assignments if I click on them I can this module enables a teacher to communicate talks collect work and provide grades and feedback I can create a big blue button a chat for uh, meetings with uh, students uh, checklists uh, module allows a teacher to create a checklist to do list task list for students Choice, multiple choice activities, quick polls, uh, test students understanding, facilitate student decision making. Databases are the most, um, I think, the most complicated with many uh, activities, many entries, such as uh, collections of web links, books, book reviews, journal referencing, showing photos, posters, websites etc. Votings. A fair allocation module lets you define choices. Also feedback for course evaluations after to improve content, enable participants to sign up. And also forums, different types of games, book with questions, crosswords. games, glossaries, in which uh, auto-linking filters are enabled. For I clicked on it and it opened, but I don't want that today. I will click back on. So, glossaries. I was in glossaries. Workshops with the life class, treasure hunt, task chain surveys. We can collect students' folders, Skype lessons, read aloud. Is an activity designed to assist teachers in evaluating students' reading fluency. Students read the passage sent by the teacher into a microphone. It's very interesting for uh, speaking correctly. Quizzes could be introduced here questionnaires podcasts to typer per module allows us to learn how to type mind maps it's interesting also you to create and save multiple mind maps within uh, model media collections uploading content in a carousel or grading format as uh, thumbnails lessons also very large um, activities could be here done. Sorry. Journals. Students can keep journals or teachers can keep journals with feedbacks. An interactive content. Hotspot. Activities consist of an app, optional entry pages. E-learning exercises and an optional exit page. A hot question enables students to post and vote on posts. Group self-selections. Group formation, very interesting plugins. Group choice, allows students to enroll themselves in a group within a course and glossaries. But I think I will do today a database. So it's a collaborative collection of web links, books, book reviews, displaying student created photos, posters, websites, etc. I click add and I will introduce some material about my hometown country. I will say Lipova. I can type it as a title with capitals. Description. Description. I click on description. Display on course page. Leap of a presentation. I will say. Right now. And 
entries i can have several entries allow editing allow comments i can do that allow required before viewing not necessarily maximum number of entries and let's say not too many let's say 25 here availability <coughs> i could enable or not since when i could grade it uncategorized or grade to pass but i can see here let's see an uncategorized ratings if it doesn't have a scale I think average, let's say, uh, count of ratings, maximum grade 100, OK. To restrict ratings to do items with dates from the 18th of November could be enabled until the, I don't know, let's put it in a month 28th december when it's my birthday oh from couldn't be done like this so again from i will go back from the 28th november to 28th december i could restrict access availability shown on course or hide from students but I can let it show the ID number of the course if there are any group modes separate groups visible groups no groups let's say for everybody restrict access let's say none or add restriction only who has a an activity I could set an activity which is set but I won't I just showed you and I could enter some tags let's say presentations so that I have time to put in some material okay um, what can I will toggle the? I can insert um, some materials. I already have prepared some. Um, the video. Let me see if they leave me to upload the file. No, I can't. I can choose on. Uh, YouTube or recent files mm. I can insert this which I already have but I won't call my from personal YouTube that I have to log into my if they let me No, I don't have this, what I have. I'll try to upload another file from my... Erasmus project that I have prepared when... On, I have on projects or another. Let me see. It's on desktop. Okay, that's nice. I hope this is the one, the guide of. 
let's see if they let me I hope I can introduce it because it's a very nice book which I scanned I hope that I translate it I hope they let me PDF can't be uploaded. I'll try another type of file. The presentation of my school. Let's see. Or a sword for my. <laughs> Class was a PowerPoint can't be uploaded. Unfortunately, the materials that I have presented. But finally, I will do something. I hope I have a question near the presentation of my high school. It's a Word document. Also, word can't be introduced from server files. What I have mm. from my Google Drive, maybe if they let me. I hope they let me. No, they don't. But by all means, I want to attach something I hope I can do it in the end I have a picture with my town I suppose I can't do that. Oh, like a video. That's why I couldn't insert. Maybe a link. Let's see. For browse repositories. back as a link a source as a video or as an audio let me see as an audio if I can but I want a video I have I go back Okay, a video. That's why it didn't let me. I have a film. I hope they let me upload this. It's a nice film of my town. Please. Winter is coming in Romania as well. Please upload. Please 